Hello students, in this video, we have 5.20 additional exercise problem of chapter 5. The question is, the compass needle free to turn in a horizontal plane is placed at the center of circular coil of 30 turns and radius 12 cm. The coil is in vertical plane making an angle of 45 degree with magnetic meridian. When the current in the coil is 0 0.35 ampere, the needle points west to east. From this data, we are supposed to determine the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field at the location. And the current in the coil is reversed and the coil is rotated about its vertical axis by 90 degree in anti-clockwise sense. Looking through above, predict the uh, direction of the needle. Take the magnetic declination uh, at the place to be zero. So let us start uh, with understanding the situation. Uh, the first line says that compass needle is free to turn in horizontal plane is placed at the center of circular coil of 30 turns. The coil is uh, in vertical plane making at an angle 45 degree with magnetic meridian. So, first let us place the magnetic needle. Instead of magnetic needle, I will draw magnet only. So, initially, this is uh, this is how magnet is placed. Okay, then, uh, let this be magnetic south and uh, let this be magnetic north. So, I can say that uh, this is horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field and this is a vertical component which happens to be zero in this case. Now, uh, this magnet is placed inside a coil and how the coil is placed? The coil is placed like this in such a way that when you pass current through the coil, the magnetic field will be uh, as shown in this figure. So, when we pass current through the coil, the magnetic field of coil, if it is B coil, it will have two components. This is horizontal component and this is vertical component. Okay. And uh, how the coil is placed? Coil is placed in such a way that it makes 45 degrees. So, this diameter of the coil is making 45 degrees and hence this will also be 45 degrees. So, uh, this is the situation. Now, if I consider uh, the resultant uh, situation, what happens? The magnet is turning itself like this. So, what is actually happening? Magnet is uh, recognizing the resultant field. How many fields are acting? One field acting on the magnet is uh, horizontal component of earth which happens to be vertical and yet why magnet is horizontal? Because the coils field, field of coil is somewhere here. Okay, this is field of coil. Uh, This is field of coil and it has two components. This is B coil horizontal and this is B coil vertical. Okay, how much is the angle? 45 degrees. So I can say that if magnet is setting itself uh, in this manner, uh, this two must be same. Okay, so there is no magnetic field along this line and uh, then the resultant field is only uh, horizontal ok so uh, the equation which we can uh, make from this situation is BH horizontal component of earth's magnetic field is equal to vertical component of magnetic field of the coil and that is BC cos 45 or sorry sine 45 and how do you find out magnetic field of coil 
it is mu zero n i by two r. So mu zero n i by two r into sine forty five. This is uh, how you will get the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field, which is the only component because vertical component is zero. Now, do we have I available? Check how much is I. So we are told that I is zero point thirty five ampere. Okay, number of turns thirty, and R is. 12 cm don't forget to convert it into meter so you have all the data available substitute in this equation and you will have answer of a now look at the second question what you are told that the current direction is reverse and then the coil is given 90 degree rotation so if i change this situation uh, what i am doing i am giving 90 degree rotation and then my coil will be uh, like this with its magnetic field in this direction and uh, now what will happen the magnet which was setting itself earlier like this with north here and south here will now turn in opposite direction so new situation of magnet will be like this where you have north here south here so that is all uh, the difference which which is uh, experienced by the magnet if you rotate the coil by 90 degree and if you revert the uh, direction of current so that is all for this problem thank you